I'm Patrick Parker. I'm a guide here at the North Star Mining Museum. This museum houses the powerhouse for the North Star Mine, and it has behind it an interesting story. These mines required uh, huge amounts of power to run them, and prior to electricity, that power came from steam engines. The, the technology for all of this was developed in southwest England in Cornwall in the century prior to 1850. The mines had to be pumped 24-7. The water table's about 100 feet down, and uh, the mines went down as much as a mile. The pumps uh, were huge pieces of machinery. The one we have operating here is the last working Cornish pump in the world. When it was operating, the shaft went down half a mile weighed 135,000 pounds, and pumped 1,000 gallons a minute. It was run by a steam engine along with the hoists uh, that raised and lowered the miners and raised the gold ore and rock. It took over 60 cords of wood a day to run these steam engines in the Nevada City Grass Valley area. And so, of course, wood became very scarce and the price went up. The mine owners looked for an alternative. At the Empire Mine, or in the latter part of the 19th century, they electrified. Electricity was pretty scary stuff then, so Arthur de Wint Foote, the general manager at North Star, looked for an alternative. And the Pelton wheel invention by Lester Allen Pelton provided the means by which he could do that. Pelton put a small wedge in the center of the bucket of rotating high-pressure water wheels, and that enabled him to capture over 90% of the energy in the water column as compared with 40% before that invention. It turned out to be one of the most important inventions of the latter part of the 19th century, because today, even, all over the world, in every large hydroelectric plant, you'll find Pelton wheels. We call them turbines. But back to Mr. Foote and the North Star. Foote had the idea that he could uh, pipe water down from a reservoir and hook it up to a large Pelton wheel and drive air compressors. He then piped the compressed air up to the mine and inserted it in place of steam into the steam engines, thereby vitiating the need to purchase the, any more wood. The first wheel was 18 and a half feet and no longer exists. It was scrapped during World War II. Subsequently, the need for more compressed air led to the construction of a 30-foot Pelton wheel, which is, in fact, the largest Pelton wheel in the world. And although it's no longer driven by water, for demonstration purposes, we will run it for you. The museum is open from the 1st of May to October 31st, six days a week, from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. We're closed on Mondays.